Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. We can use this idea of similarity and apply it to area. Let's say we had two polygons that are similar. So here we have ABCD is similar to EFGH. And if I picked one of their corresponding sides, that is AB and EF, I know that that ratio is going to be constant for all of the corresponding sides. That ratio will be A to B, or whatever those numbers are for their actual lengths. Now what is the ratio of their areas going to be? Well, to examine this, let's move over here and talk about dimensionality. Something that is one-dimensional is just a length. So think of a distance. Distances, we would say, have units of centimeters, inches, miles, but it's a one-dimensional attribute. Here, in these two, the lengths are a distance. So the ratio of their one-dimensional attribute is A to B. So let's go back and write that ratio for one dimensionality. Now two dimensionality is talking about area. So we would talk about area as something to the second power. If you think about the area of a square, we're gonna have side times side, S times S is S squared. So to go from one dimensional to two dimensional, we take our exponent and we're going to square it. So in two dimensions, the ratio of their areas will be that at ratio in one dimension squared. Or we could say this is a squared to b squared. So to go from one dimension to two dimensions, you're going to square whatever your ratio is. To go in the opposite direction, you're going to have to do the opposite of squaring something, which is the square root. Let's look at a brief example of how we can apply this. Here it says, if two similar triangles have corresponding medians in a ratio of 3 to 5, what is the ratio of their areas? The first thing that will trip up students about this statement is medians. Well, you have to remember that if you have corresponding medians in similar triangles, that they're going to be proportional. So just because we're talking about medians doesn't change this ratio of 3 to 5. Median is a one-dimensional attribute of this triangle. It's a distance. So this ratio of 3 to 5, I can write under the category of one-dimensional. So to go from one dimensions to two dimensions, because it's asking about area, so we want something that's two-dimensional. We know, and actually I don't know what that number is, it's supposed to be 3 to 5. To go from one dimensions to two dimensions, we need to square our ratio. So we're going to take 3 fifths and square it. So 3 squared is 9, 5 squared is 25. So notice that the one dimensional ratio is 3 to 5 and the ratio of their areas will be 9 to 25. This is not saying that the ratio is 9, or excuse me, that the area is 9 and the area is 25. It's just saying that when you write a ratio of their areas, it will be 9 to 25. And by two, I can't do this with you two laughing back there. Work it. Work it. So if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> <laughs> that should be... Less than. Yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, Two fix. Yeah.